In this presentation, we're going to look at accounts receivable, which is an asset on the balance sheet. And we're going to look to see how it affects the cash account, which is also an asset on the balance sheet. And also look at how it affects revenues, which is part of net income on the income statement. And then finally here, we're just going to look at state that the revenues flows into retained earnings which is a stock retained earnings is a stockholders equity account on the balance sheet. So first here let's look at uh, exactly what is accounts receivable. Well if we look at the timeline here I've got uh, March through October just highlighted here so say we provided some goods or services in that time period. Well we've accrued or earned some revenue from those goods or services provided. The revenues were earned but not yet received in cash. They're sitting in the accounts receivable account. So then at the end of the, after the services have been provided, the customers have uh, paid, some on the, paid some on the accounts receivable. And, uh, but you have to note here that the money or the cash received was after the goods were provided. And what we want to do here is just allocate these provided goods or service. We want to allocate them to the revenues account here in that income. So let's look here at a typical accounts receivable transaction. Say we sold some goods on credit and say it was for ten thousand or $1,000 here. So we would debit or increase the accounts receivable account by $1,000 and then the corresponding uh, journal entry would be to our revenues account where we would credit that or inc uh, increase revenues by $1,000. Uh, what I do want to note here is that this revenues account is closed at the end of the period, the end of the year, and by doing so we would debit revenues here which would decrease revenues by uh, $1,000 and then the, the net effect would be to uh, credit retained earnings, increase retained earnings by $1,000. So this is a closing entry of the income statement to the balance sheet retained earnings account. So let's go back here now and look at uh, say we've received, received some payment or receipts on our accounts receivable in the, by cash, or cash collected on the, for this accounts receivable. So let's just assume we had two payments here of $500 each. So we would credit accounts receivable for that amount here. Thus it uh, reduces accounts receivable. And then we would debit the corresponding cash account here for $500 two payments of $500 each. So you can see here the net effect of accounts receivable. If you increase it, when you make your sale here, you increase it by debiting it, and then the corresponding uh, credit would be to revenue. So revenue increases when you make accounts receivable. And then when you collect on accounts receivable, you reduce accounts receivable, and you increase cash. So that's just a simple summary of uh, accounts receivable and how it affects the balance sheet and income statement accounts.